Hey everyone, it's George from Skycef here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to calculate direct strength method factors or DSM factors to design custom cold form steel shapes using Skycef Section Builder. Now, the direct strength method is a new approach to the design of cold form steel sections, and unlike more traditional methods like the effective width method, which relies on a reducing section properties based on the likelihood of local buckling. The direct strength method uses full, unreduced section properties in design. Now, DSM is seen as generally a more accurate design approach compared to the effective width method and will usually result in greater capacities for the same cold form steel sections. It's also well suited for the design of complex and custom cold form steel shapes as well. Now, the direct strength method focuses on calculating buckling stresses for local, distortional, and global buckling failure which are then used in the design of cold form shapes in more modern standards, such as AZ S100, Eurocode 13, and AS4600. Now, the direct strength method uses something called the finite strip method, which calculates these buckling shapes, and this produces a curve that plots member buckling stress as a function of member length. Now, Skysev has recently built a tool for calculating direct strength method factors for custom cold form steel sections. And today I'll walk you through how to calculate these DSM factors for a custom coil form steel shape and use them in SkySiv member design. Okay, so we've got a fairly simple model here. It's a simply supported beam which is six feet long. And I'll start this process by assigning a section to this beam. So I'll go into the sections tab, section one, and I'll open the SkySiv section builder. Now I'm going to build this shape from scratch. So I'll go into shape templates and I will select a lip channel, which is a pretty common cold form steel shape, and I might edit some of these dimensions. So I'll make it say 10 inches deep, and I'll make one of the legs longer than the other. So this kind of weird shape here. Now, to use this uh, DSM factor calculation tool, you need to make sure that your manufacturing process for your section is set to cold formed, like it is here. Now, we'll go up into the design tab and we'll select the FSM or finite strip method option here. And when this opens, this will automatically calculate the DSM factors for that custom shape. So you can see on the right hand side here, it's got a table of all the buckling factors for compression, major axis bending, and minor axis bending here as well. And these are for local and distortional buckling. Now, this plot on the left will show you the results of the finite strip method calculation, where it plots the buckling stress against the member length here. And you can show that for the various types of applied force here, for, so for axial force and bending about both directions here as well. Now, if you're happy with these factors, you can just click the submit button and get on with designing. But sometimes you might want to remove or modify these factors for your design. So the way to do that is interacting with this graph here on the left hand side. And if I click on a point here, it will delete that point and it will set those two DSM factors to zero. Now I can set a custom factor here by clicking on the graph again, and the first click will assign a local factor, you can see 189 here. If I click that same point again, it will change it to a distortional factor, and if I click it again, it will use the same value for both inputs there. So what I might do in this case is I might set the local buckling to be here, and the distortional buckling to be here. And I'll click that one more time to make that distortional. Okay, we'll submit those values, and you can now see on the right, top right hand side here, there's a little tick next to DSM factors. If I open that, that will show you the values that I've calculated using the module here. Now you can also use this tool to override DSM factors for database shapes in the SkySiv section library. And you can go and use the same process where you go into the top right here, click FSM, and that will override any saved values that you have here. Now I'll submit that section and we will solve our model and go into the member design module. For this, we'll go to cold form steel and we'll go to AZ S100 uh, 2016. Okay, now if we go into the sections tab here, you can see that this will list all the sections within your model. There's only one. Um, and if you go on the DSM view button here, that will show you the DSM factors that have been imported from the cold form steel design module in section builder. Now we can then check this module by clicking check and that will carry out a full suite of member design checks using those custom DSM factors here. So that's a quick introduction to how to calculate direct strength method factors using SkySiv Section Builder. If you have any comments or queries, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. 
We've also got a very detailed uh, guide and tutorial for how to do this, and I'll include that in the description box as well. Thank you.